On January 2, 2013, Congress signed into law the American Taxpayer Relief Act of 2012, or ATRA, to prevent the expiration of the Bush-era tax cuts for middle-income taxpayers starting on 2013 and running until Congress retakes the tax policy and spending cuts for the U.S. debt limit. So, ATRA is a measure to cover a gap with no tax cuts that otherwise would have caused higher taxes for middle-class taxpayers. One of the tax measures covered by ATRA is Code Section 179 of the Internal Revenue Service, or Small Business Expensing. In general, a new property purchased to service a business can be deducted as an expense the same year it was acquired for use if the property will be in service beyond the year. Instead, the cost of the property is capitalized or exploited for years to come and incurring depreciation deductions spread over a determined period of years. ATRA changes their rules and allows businesses to write off the cost of the expense of new and income producing property in the same year it is purchased. A business must elect IRS Code Section 179 when capitalizing an expense for years 2012 and 2013. The new law makes three changes to Code Section 179 expense election. First one on the table, you can see the Code Section 179 tax changes. It's two, to continue to qualify off-the-shelf software for same-year capitalization until 2013. And third, to continue to allow a taxpayer to amend or revoke an election for a tax year without IRS approval through 2013. The purpose and scope of the project is to identify and learn about the Asian community businesses electing IRS Code Section 179 to quickly recover capital costs for tax years 2012 and 2013, and how it benefits the local economy and the Mills 50 business district at large. The project will use interviews from business leaders and tax experts. The value of the project for the local community is to inform about the impact with and without the IRS Code Section 179 dollar limit that would have decreased or increased the value of the tax incentive. Here you can see on Table 2 the tax incentives without the ATRA 2012. The target audience is the Asian community-owned businesses located at the Mills 50 Business District. The area is located around the intersection of Colonial Avenue and Mills Avenue in Orlando, Florida. This research project will be of most interest to the Asian community, in particular the Vietnamese majority residing and working within the Mills 50 District area. Currently. The available news about ATRA relates to the general tax changes and its future impact on the nation as a whole, in particular the middle class taxpayers. The new angle will inform local businesses and on tax advantages for incurring in large capital expenses for tax year 2013 and to quickly recover from the expense the same year.